Hi Year 5, it's Mr Worthington here again, ready to introduce today, Thursday the 25th of February's home learning. In English today it's a vocabulary lesson, so we'll be carrying on the work that we started last half term looking at different prefixes. Remember, those are the letters that go at the start of the word and can alter or change the meaning of a root word. Our prefix focuses for today are miss, dis, in and un. And they all have the effect of changing the root word to become the opposite. So, for example, if I have behave and I add miss to it, it becomes the opposite, misbehave. If I have respect and I add dis to it, it becomes the opposite again, disrespect. If I have the word credible, that means believable, and I add in to it to make incredible, then it becomes the opposite, something that's unbelievable. And finally, if I have friendly, and I add the prefix un to it, then I end up with unfriendly, which is of course the opposite. In maths today, year five, we're carrying on the work that you've been doing all week, looking at addition and subtraction. And what we'll be doing today is we'll be using rounding and estimation to check the accuracy of our calculations. So let me show you using this example. If you have 13,768 add 27,143, you can check your answer before you've even worked it out to check the accuracy. And you do this by rounding. So in this case, we're going to round to the nearest thousand. So 13,768, I'm gonna look at my thousands, but remember year five, I also need to look to the next place value column. I need to look to my hundreds. And we need to decide whether we're going to round up to the next thousand, which would be 14,000, or down. To the thousand that it's on which is 13,000 and of course the rule is that if it's five or above you always round up four and below you round down here we have a seven so I'm going to round my number up to 14,000 and I'll do the same for my second number so 27,143 to the nearest thousand I'm going to look at the hundreds column and here I have a one. So I'm gonna round this down this time to 27,000. And if I add those together, then I get 41,000. Approximately, that will be my answer. And then I'm going to work it out by using my column method that we practiced yesterday. So I'm reordering that's putting the biggest number first and my second number second. And I'll add using the column method like I did yesterday. Three add eight is 11. So I put my one and carry my one underneath across to my tens. Then I go to my tens column. Four tens add six tens is 10 tens. Add the one tenth that I've carried earlier becomes 11 tens. So I put my one in my tens and my second one is carried across to my hundreds. Then in my hundreds, 100 add 700 is 800. And if I add this other hundred that I've carried across, I get 900. Then moving on to my thousands, 7,000 add 3,000 is 10,000. So I'm going to put my zero in my thousands column and carry the one over to my ten thousands column. Twenty thousand add ten thousand, add another ten thousand is forty thousand. So you can see that my answer of forty thousand nine hundred eleven is fairly close to my estimate. That's what we'd like you to do, Year 5. Have a go at rounding in order to estimate and check the accuracy of your calculations. We've put a worksheet with some examples online on the School Spider to show you how to do this. This afternoon, 
we'll be doing some computing and we'll be moving on to looking from our work earlier at systems to looking at videos. So there's a PowerPoint and a lesson plan for you to follow on School Spider explaining what videos are, how they include both visual, things that you can see, and audio, that's things that you can hear. And you'll be exploring the difference between silent videos and silent movies from the past and some more current videos, which obviously include audio as well. The aim is that you will be, by the end of this topic, creating your own video for us. So, we'd like you to plan it today. We'd like you to storyboard what your video will be about. So remember, a storyboard year five is where you split it into the different sections and sequence what is going to happen in your video. We've done that lots in both year four and year five. So I'm sure you'll be great at that. And we've put a template online for you to follow. I want you to think about, firstly, what will the subject of your video be? You might want to pick up on the anti-bullying that we looked at in the last half term. Or alternatively, it's World Book Day in a few weeks. Maybe you'd like to look at reviewing your favourite book. And you might talk about your favourite characters or the different chapters or events in their story or the author. Plan out what's going to be in your video. Include any props that you might use. Those are objects or things that you will have in your video. And also any music that you might have playing. We really look forward to seeing your storyboard year five. Before I go, don't forget there is another Time Tables Rockstars battle taking place right now this week. It's a new half term, so we're starting a fresh slate. Who will be the winner? If you want it to be your class, you need to log on. That's all from me, year five. I'll post another one of these tomorrow.